Hi, today we are going to design texture roller that you can use for polymer clay or some other DIY stuff. We are going to use a blender. I have a 4.5.3 version now, so some of the stuff has been changed a little bit. After opening blender, we can see the square, uh, so we press it, delete it, delete perspective camera as well. First thing that I do, I go here, scene properties, I press units, and I change length to millimeters and unit scale 0 0.001, enter, because we are going to do a roller that's about uh, 90 millimeters high, not much more than 10 centimeters, so it's best to, to change uh, the scale. Okay, uh, we press, just to be sure that you are in object mode, press Shift and A, mesh, cylinder. Now we are in the middle of the cylinder, but don't worry, just don't click anything, just go here, change vertices, uh, much more higher number, I guess 1200 would be okay. Go to the radius, it's 10 millimeters. Go to the depth, uh, that's about 90 millimeters. Just enter. And now we zoom out a little bit. Okay, so this is our basic cylinder. And now we go to edit mode, just here. Make sure you click on a face select. Click on this face, right click, delete faces. We go down here, click this one, right click on the mouse, delete faces as well. Now you can see that the cylinder is empty. Okay. The next thing we we're going to do loop cut is it's the button here and when you click on a cylinder the loop cut and slide menu appears here please change number of cuts to 600 press enter it may take a little while blender to figure it out just have to wait for a second Okay, now it has been done, as you can see, if you have a closer look, uh, the grid is full of little squares, little rectangles, that will help our texture to look much better. The resolution of the texture will be better as well. Okay. Alright, now let's jump to modifiers, this icon here. Please add modifier. You can search Solidify. Click. In the thickness, you can write 3 millimeters. Press Enter. And you can see, now we have a beautiful rim of 3 millimeters for our roller. Okay, you can leave it right here. Next thing we will do we will add another modifier plus search displays. You can write from the keyboard displays, okay, not displays haircuts, but deform displays. It has been changed from the last version, so now you have to click new. When we are in the coordinates menu, please select UV. This you can you can leave for now, and uh, now there's this checkerboard icon here, texture properties. We go here, and now we are going to open our image, our texture. What are we going to use in this tutorial? Are textures from uh, this fun website that I found, and I found it 
very useful for this kind of exercise. So uh, now we can you can see that on ambientcg.com, the link for the website is also visible in the description. In this video, you can see tons of really nice textures, grass textures, uh, bricks, marble, uh, stones. It's uh, really a lot of them. So what you must do, you click on the texture that you like, for instance, this one, and you have to download. I guess for this kind of lore, 4K is enough, so you can uh, download 4K in PNG format. And this is a zip file, and then you have to unzip it on your on your hard drive. Don't go with the higher resolution because you can see it's more than 1000 megabytes. It's for really big models. Uh, if you lower it, if you're going to load this, you will have a um, really huge files. So we don't want that. All right, so I downloaded one from from this website. They are free for you to download. That's really nice. Great stuff here. Uh, we are back here, so click open. Let's choose one of them. For instance, uh, bricks. Can be bricks. And here, when you download the package from this site or maybe some other website, you have to always look for the displacement. Sometimes it's height, usually displacement in a file name. So you click the displacement map. It's 22 megabytes. You click open image. Well, now we have it loaded, as you can see here. You don't do anything now. You go straight to UV editing mode. It's here. Click it. And what you have to do, you have to add this texture here. There is a, this is a common mistake that some people forget to add it here. Now it's here. It's full. And we can go back to object mode, zoom out a little bit. All right, this is it. We go back to modifier. As you can see, the displace modifier has the strength value here. By default, it's one. When we are going to design a texture ruler like this, when it's like 10 uh, centimeters high, uh, the strength should be a lot less than one. You can switch to like one. All right, this looks nice. You can see how it looks like. You can close it up. If you are satisfied with the effect, you can leave it. Or you can change it if you wish. I will go with the stronger one. I guess 0 0.6 looks quite nice for a polymer clay. Okay, it looks, it looks good. Okay, this is a basic stuff that you, it, it, it can be already exported to STL file and printed, but there are two issues. First of all, you, you see the rims and the inside of it is also textured. We will fix it in a moment can see right and the other thing is if you import the file this placement uh, map is here sometimes it doesn't look quite nice on the roller this look this is quite okay i think but maybe you can look for other effect or maybe the resolution is not as good as you expected uh, what we have to do is we go back to edit mode click it here it's all yellow. If it's not all yellow, you have to uh, mark it, mark all the stuff. If it's right here, you go again. Make sure you are in the this mode, edge. Click on one of them and press Ctrl and L. And again, you are in the all, yeah, the cylinder is all marked. You are now here. What you have to do is you are make a frame and now there's this orange rectangle that we have to 
move a little bit and scale a little bit if the effect on the roller is is not what you're looking for so basically what we are going to do we are in this mode so now please click r for rotate and then you with your mouse move a little bit okay just like here we'll make 90 degrees the menu appears here so it's not perfect 90 let's make it 90 great again now we press g for moving and y to move it down a little bit okay and for some of the rollers for some of the textures this is also enough you can check whether it's okay in object mode or not as you can see now you have a completely different idea of a roller different idea of a pattern because it's like now is you made it uh, rotated so the pattern rotates as well if it's okay with you you can leave it like that uh, these are just the options that I uh, want to show you that you can also make it to your own purposes all right so let's go back to edit mode again we have this orange rectangles what you can do you can also press scale so s then x and move a little bit with your mouse for instance like this click go to object mode again now the bricks are also longer but they're closer to each other also nice effect I prefer the first one just before all the changes but just to show you that uh, on some textures you will need to do some adjustments uh, here in UV mode all right so let's go back to our cylinder where you are now in object mode and we want to fix the stuff here uh, so that the roller is not as textured inside and here as well because the effect is maybe not as nice as we expected it to be what we are going to do cylinder is clicked we pressed in of course you can be sure that you are in the object mode uh, okay so it's we press shift and a mesh cylinder another cylinder appears here what we need to do we press s for scale make it bigger click now press g for moving and z and we go up 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 all right let's see maybe here now it's also good to press x now we can see where is it okay maybe it's a little bit here okay press it another one g and z okay we have to make it like like this one and now what we need to do is we press we have to first of all you need to click on this one and secondly holding shift click on your roller okay and now we have to make a boolean but before that maybe you have to make sure if you have this option in your blender so let's go to edit preferences and here you have add-ons or sometimes it's on extensions but on add-ons you should have this bool tool activated if you don't you need to install it before so bool tool is enabled make sure if so please click the cylinder first then holding shift on your keyboard click on your roller and then you have to use the command for bowling it's control shift and b control shift and b and click difference one second beautiful you can see the rim is now beautifully smoothened as we want it to be okay so now when you have this uh roller activated again shift and a mesh 
cylinder, S for scale, make it bigger, G for moving, and Z to move it down, down, oh, just like here, for instance, yeah. It is okay, you press, you click, sorry, you click this one, holding shift, you click your roller, and again, control shift and B for boolean, and click difference. Close it up beautifully, smoothened as well. The last thing before we export it and print it is the inside. We are using the same thing, boolean as well. So now, again, you have your cylinder, your roller clicked in object mode as usual. You press Shift A, mesh, cylinder again. Okay. Press Z here to have a better top view look on it. Zoom a little bit. You don't click anything because you want this new cylinder to be selected. Now press S for scale and with your mouse you can go a little... Okay, so your scale a little bit, uh, maybe just here. Okay, something like this. We go back here. We have this inner cylinder selected. So now please we press S for scale, Z, make it longer. Okay, it's like here. It's still selected. So now we press Shift and, and click Roller. Now we have both selected. And we press Ctrl, Shift and B for Boolean. And we click Difference. And now, as you can see, we have a beautiful and smooth inside of your roller. The texture is outside. The rims are smoothened. It's a beautiful little roller that you can send to STL file and export it and print it and use it. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Please check out my channel. Thank you.